foremost is proper preparation can at least reduce some of the anxiety. So the more practice tests you do in a similar method to the way you'll do the actual thing. So same environment, same testing conditions, same length of exam, all of that, at least it, you run through the motions enough that the actual test day experience is like just another practice test. And if anything, LSAT Flex is easier to simulate because you always have access to your home. In fact, you have too much access to your home these days, <laughs> right. but you're always there versus taking it in person at a test center. It's not always easy to simulate getting together 50 of your best friends into a room, all taking an exam for three hours. That, rare, that rarely happens with no, few exceptions. So, so that's one thing is simulate it at home at the same desk with the same device. Second thing is remember that while the LSAT as a whole is incredibly important, no one particular test day will make or break you. You can always retake. And as you know, law schools don't average multiple scores. They only take the highest. That's what they have incentive to do. So that should at least lend some comfort. And the last thing I would say is meditation, mindfulness, focus training, whatever you want to call it. Also pretty easy to do even while you're isolated and quarantined. Particularly easy to do. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> even, even just five minutes a day of that focus and strengthening your focus like a muscle can help you if your mind is wandering or you're getting bogged down in a question to at least recognize that it's happening and note it and kind of break out of that cycle or that spiral. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.